Now in my real estate career, one of the things I started with is low income properties and I started buying apartment complexes. And one of the things that resonated with me is I started watching how they spent their money. And some of them would actually go to the convenience store as if it was the grocery store. We all know that convenience stores charge a lot more for things than a grocery store does, or certainly that a buying club does. And so, I've always been a value-based buyer. I look at what things cost. I look at the number of pennies per ounce and things like that. Not because I can't afford it. It's just because I want to know what I'm spending for things and I want to keep the money that I could keep. So I do look at sale newspapers and I do look at say, okay, well, they've got this over here and I, I'll just make a circuit to go to several different stores, maybe on the same day. Now, some of the vendors, they say, well, go ahead and bring us other people's ads and we'll go ahead and give it to you for the same price. Sometimes even less because you brought their competitors ad to them. So things like that, where, you know, I look at and get points for travel. I get points for hotels, things like that, because, Hey, it's free. I don't have to pay anything for it. And so I've got ridiculous number of miles, uh, airline miles that is because I travel a lot. And so there's different things that you can accumulate wealth from that are not monetarily based. It's just going to save you money at a future time. So looking at sales, the price point that you pay, looking at the volume that you get for your dollars makes a lot of sense. And, now you want to weigh that with the amount of time that you're spending to get those discounts, because if you're investing your time wisely, then those times that you would be spending on this might be better spent elsewhere.